What's up guys, it's Mike here with Growing Indoors 365. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Today, look at this. Last time we met, that did not look like that, okay? This is what happens when you give it a little bit of nutrient and you give it a little bit of time. Just a week's time, we literally have an overflow of lettuce and it looks glorious. This is what I love. This is the stage of success. This is the point where you realize that you have yourself a nice yielded harvest. And I am super excited when it gets to this point. Now I got a lot of great stuff for this video. Number one, we're gonna start filling the bottom shelf. That's right. I got two brand new T5 lights that I have a package right down here below. We're gonna do unboxing together of these HTG T5s, the same ones that I've been using for the last several years and I'm totally, totally in love with them. I think that a lot of people use a different type of LEDs, full spectrum lighting for their grow. I particularly like the simplicity of a T5 fluorescent. This puts out about 3,400K, maybe even 6,500K. Um, so it's, I'm happy with it. It's, it's, it's been working for me. And if you're interested in these lights, the link is down below. And let me tell you something, act quick. Because as winter comes around, around the world, people start to buy things that are, you know, hobby-ish, and they're gonna be looking for lights like this, and these type of things sell out quick. And we don't know what this winter will bring. The type of scary, weird closeout uh, lockdowns or whatever there might be around the world, but let me tell you, these things have not failed me. That bottom light has failed me, unfortunately. I'm gonna take you in the tent in just a minute, uh, but first, Let's come down here and take a, uh, take a deep dive into the unboxing of these T5s. All right, let's take a look what we got inside here. I'm gonna make this as quick as possible. I have not opened this, but certainly I know what it looks like. Oh wow, they, they do this right in the middle. These are the, these are the actual lights. All right, so we're gonna open those up in just a minute. This is obviously the housing for each of the uh, the T5s. Let's just take a quick glimpse of what the housing looks like. Sometimes the stuff gets damaged during shipping. All right, it looks good. These are the little, um, these are little pieces that kind of uh, grab onto the top of the housing. HTG supplies. This is where it's at. I've been getting these lights for years. I love them. This is a standard four foot, real nice four foot light as you can see here. T5's HTG grow light, 4.2. Awesome, this is the housing. Basically I'm gonna take the lights that they provided, stick them in here, and I'm gonna go ahead and put them on that lower shelf. Let's take a look at what I got going on in the lower shelf, and then I'll show you what those lights look like as they're hung up. All right, I wanna do a, just a quick dive into the tent, then we're gonna go down to that bottom floor to look at that. Take a look at this veg, huh? Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. I still don't know how certain growers grow lettuce to perfection. I really don't. They come out so beautiful in this nice, beautiful bouquet. I mean, I have, so much veg, but it comes out so different. But let me tell you, it's so clean, it's so green, and it's definitely extremely delicious. If you are not growing, get on board. Look at the clarity here. Look how clean. You see a bug? You see any distress? No. Okay. Absolutely gorgeous. I mean, it's everywhere food, life, it's everywhere. Look at this, let me just go back one more time. Look at the overflow of food. This could feed you for a little bit, it's not much. It's not much, but it's more than that. You've accomplished something if you're doing this indoors. You are literally growing and you're able to feed yourself to a certain degree and that's what I love about this whole thing. That's what gets me excited about growing this. You got different colors, variations, and it's all living and it's crunchy and it's beautiful. 
I love it. Give me the thumbs up, guys. I need more thumbs up. I need more comments, too. Give me some engagement. All the people, the hundreds of people that watch every single video, make sure to share this with all your friends and family who are interested in learning about hydroponics that are interested in setting something like this up in their own home. It doesn't have to be this big. You could start up with one reservoir. Just try it. That's all you need to do. Make sure to hit the subscribe button if you're new here. You wanna learn about hydroponics? You wanna learn how to feed yourself and your family? You could have 20 of these different tents, but you have to first learn the basics, the fundamentals. And that information is absolutely free here at Growing Indoors 365. Also, please check me out at growingindoors365.com where I post a blog post about my videos. I go into depth about the video, what I'm, what I'm currently achieving, and the current stage and status of my indoor grow. So make sure you go ahead and do that. And make sure to hit that bell. That bell right below there to the right. Hit that. This way you get notified every single time I upload a video. That's all it does. It just notifies you and says, hey, Growing Indoors 365 has now uploaded a brand new video. And go ahead and enjoy it. Share it. Send it everywhere. Here's a new variation, guys. Two new variations. And they are ready. So what this is going to be, what do I got here? 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Excuse me, 19. Each... So basically one of these is gonna to have to go. One of these is eliminated. Probably gonna be this one right here because it's the smallest one. This is a two different variations of lettuce, different than the above two, but basically this is gonna be good for two reservoirs. And that's all I'm gonna set up down here as of right now. I'm gonna be taking this housing here and unfortunately I gotta get rid of it because look below, there's only one light growing and that's actually a huge disadvantage for these seedlings because they're not getting the optimum light that they should be getting in the current development stage. Apologize, I keep hitting the stand here. So I don't know what to do. Well, I know what to do, but I couldn't get them to work. I've had this light for years, probably four to five years I've had this. This is one of the original lights that I bought and it's just not working out. That's why I got those two uh, brand new. They're right here. There they are. My T5s with the lights. Um, uh, I'm gonna, Probably in just, a, in just a minute, I'll go ahead and put them up here. And then I'm going to show you what that looks like with them fully glowing over this brand new grow. So I'm super excited. But again, this is a new variation right here. Two brand new strains of lettuce. I'll put them in the, in the title as I'm posting this video because I can't remember what their names are. But that's it. Let me go ahead and uh, put these lights, two brand new T5s right up here. And let me show you what that looks like. Really excited to watch these things grow. All right, take a look from back here what it looks like. Oh my God, with fresh lights, with the overgrowth of lettuce, the, the grow tent looks unreal. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. Can't wait to post this video and show you guys what it looks like all fully lit up like that. I love this. As you can see here, let me run you through it. So as you can see here, we have the two T5 grow lights from HTG. Links are down below. These are the best T5s and that's what I use. Um, brought the cable through right here. And I have some really nice little, little ties. They're not zip ties, but check that out right there. You see that? They're like little Velcro. And uh, you can see it up there too. They're really clean in a sense of putting them on and putting them off. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of tighten these ropes up here. Well, the cords. Uh, but as you can see here, the lights look great. Let's take a look underneath here. All four are burning. Looking awesome. Flawless installation. This housing is so easy. I mean, literally the, the tubes slide in with the prongs this way. As soon as both sides are in, you simply turn. You hear like a snap and that's it and it is awesome easy as that sometimes you got to move oh, this thing is heavy but it's the best I mean just listen look how close I am to it you can't hear anything that's why it's the best in the game anyway I got 
my little seedlings right here. They're gonna love an entire day underneath here. I'm not gonna fill up the two reservoirs just yet. I think the plants need just an additional day of full, full blast uh, before I transition them into the, uh, the reservoirs. But this is it, guys. This is where I leave you. On the next video, you're gonna see the full everything. You're gonna see the bottom. Obviously, you already know the top is booming, but the bottom, it's just gonna get started. Anyway, guys, this is Michael from Growing Indoors 365. Make sure to check out the Instagram channel. Make sure to sign up on Facebook, facebook.com backslash Growing Indoors 365. And make sure to visit me at growingindoors365.com. Subscribe, hit the bell, and like. Unfortunately, the previous video did not hit 30 likes before the end of the week, in which case I'm not gonna be getting their new reservoirs just yet. If this video hits 45 likes by next Friday, all new reservoirs, top and bottom. I wish you all the best. Have a great weekend.